Show me right there, right there. Where? Oh, oh my God! Incredible! Look at the size of that. Oh, that is the biggest truffle I've ever seen. Wow, that's got to be close to a pound right here. This is one of the the most productive white truffle spots I have ever set foot in. The dog finds a truffle here and three feet away there's another and four feet away there's another. Last year we were getting four to ten pounds a day. Oh. <laughs> and suddenly you realize, oh my god, there are thousands of truffles here. Up <laughs> there, where's the truffle? Show me. Being in the woods, in the forest, in its natural state, is like a, a meditative, spiritual, and religious uh, experience. I'm looking at the, the seasonal transitions, I'm looking at micro conditions in, in different habitats. I have a, the kind of knowledge that uh, the professional mycologist at OSU doesn't have because I'm in the field all the time. I mean, some of my places are three hours from where I live, so. You know, sometimes I'd spend six to eight hours driving a day just to get to a spot. We ended up putting one and a half acres in and it near on killed us. It's not been done. The truffle is just like, if it gets done, you know, how cool is that? <laughs> we have between six and seven hundred trees. And you want to get to maybe three hundred kilos. Charles is very well connected in the truffle undercurrents in the Northwest. A uh, wholesale price that a restaurant would pay would be on the order of $250 a pound. It's a beautiful specimen. This is a perfect truffle. No respectable chef gives a crap about ordering truffles because they're they're odorless, they're aromaless. The Oregon truffles have acquired a reputation for being worthless. Most of the harvesting is done by people sneaking around on other people's land without permission. They're raked up en masse, and it's done by people who are willing to break those laws. Raked truffles are crappy, crappy truffles. It's a green tomato, or a, yep, green banana. Truffles harvested with dogs tend to have a very, very intense, obvious aroma. There's nothing subtle about it, where a truffle harvested with a rake typically, when it's recently harvested, has no aroma at all. We've talked to landowners. They are pissed. Last year, I just cried whenever I looked at it. It's always interesting to see who's been arrested this week. <laughs> Raking denigrates the value of the truffles, and it's a farce. There's this misconception that our truffles are crap. Everything that I sell is primo. If the chefs perceive the truffles as having almost no value, then how do we increase that value? Last year, Toby's probably may have sold 100 pounds of Oregon truffles by this time this year. This year he hasn't sold a single pound. The truffle rakers are stealing, stealing my truffles. Oh my goodness, look at that. Jesus. Yeah, I just want to be able to say we did it. You can actually smell it very, very strongly in that hole. Ah, oh, they're fantastic. They're amazing truffles. They're amazing. 